Hey guys, today we're going to fix this work light. I got it for just 2 euros, so let's see how bad it is. So before we plug it in, let's check for a short. And since it's fine, let's plug it in and let's see what happens. And as you can see, only a small number of LEDs is dimly lit. And you might see there is no screws, so to get inside we'll need to remove the glass. To do this I'll use some heat and an assortment of pry tools. As we can see, the circuit is fairly straightforward. We got a diode bridge rectifier to rectify the voltage, and then a MOSFET with a driver circuit for each one of the two sections. And as you might have noticed, the LEDs in two of the rows look burnt up. And if we measure the voltage drop over them, we can see that some of the other sections light up. This happens because the meter is not ideal and allows a small amount of current to pass as opposed to a blown LED. So let's remove them. Now that this panel is divided into two sections, with 12 diode arrays of 5 in parallel, we can also deduce that the power dissipated by one row of LEDs is around 0.8 for each diode or 4 watts for an array. Now, since I do not want to order 10 LEDs as that would vastly exceed the cost, we can experiment a bit with something that we may already have. We can replace the LEDs with any other diode or any non-ohmic conductor. In my case, I got quite a bit of SMD Zener diodes, which soldered in an array in reverse polarity should match the required spec almost perfectly. And after making both arrays and soldering them in, we can see that it does in fact light up. Thanks for watching. Let me know if there is anything else you'd like to see fixed. And subscribe if you enjoyed.